In this video, we'll take a look at null and alternative hypotheses. Now, the null hypothesis means there's no effect, or nothing happened, or there's no difference. The null hypothesis is often represented by h sub zero, and it makes a statement about the population, not the sample. So, in other words, we put population values or symbols in our null hypothesis. Now, the alternative hypothesis is really the opposite. It states, or it means, that there was an effect, or something happened, or there was a difference. The alternative hypothesis is often represented by h sub 1 or h sub a. And it also makes a statement about the population, not the sample. So if we take a look at these two side by side, once again in review, the null is stated by h sub 0, the alternative is h sub 1 or h sub a. The null basically states nothing happened, and look at the opposite here. The alternative states something happened. Or the null can state no effect. The alternative states there was an effect. And finally, the null can state no difference effectively, and the alternative would state the opposite, there was a difference. And once again, both hypotheses refer to the population. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example using the Pearson correlation, or Pearson's R. Now, correlation measures the degree of the linear relationship, if there's any at all, between two variables. And it's known as Pearson's R. Let's go ahead and take a look at the null and alternative hypotheses for correlation or for Pearson's R here. In words, the null would state there is not a relationship between the two variables in the population. The alternative would state the opposite. It would state there is a relationship between the two variables in the population. Notice how the null states no effect, or there's no relationship, whereas the alternative states there is an effect, or there is a relationship. Using symbols, we could say the following. The null, and that little thing that looks like a P there, that stands for rho, and it's the correlation in the population. So we would say null rho x, y equals zero. And then the alternative would say rho x, y does not equal zero. Or in other words, the null would state there's no correlation between x and y two variables in the population. Whereas the alternative would state there is a correlation between the two variables x and y in the population. And zero here means no relationship in correlation. So when the null says it's equal to zero, it's saying there's no relationship. When the alternative says it's not equal to zero, it's stating there is a relationship. So in review, the null states there's no effect or zero relationship, whereas the alternative states there is an effect or a non-zero relationship. Now hypotheses need to be mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Exclusive means there's no overlap between the null and the alternative. And if you look at our two statements up above, where it says that rho xy equals zero, rho xy does not equal zero. Notice that those do not overlap at all. Equals and not equals are completely non-overlapping. It's either zero, which is the null in that case, or it's not zero, which is the alternative. So they're completely exclusive they do not overlap. And then exhaustive means they must cover or exhaust all possibilities, the null and alternative when taken together. And notice that they do, as every possible value for Pearson's R is either zero or not zero. So it does exhaust all possibilities. So once again, it's exclusive because they don't overlap, and it's exhaustive because they cover all possibilities. Now notice how the alternative has a not equal sign, implying that the alternative hypothesis can be either greater than zero or less than zero. Or in other words, correlation can be positive or negative. This is known as a two-tailed test, since the alternative hypothesis consists of two possibilities, either greater than zero or less than zero. Alternatively, one-tailed test can also be used in hypothesis testing and we'll examine one-tailed tests in another video. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.